Another important bone in Moho is a smart bone uh, that you can create your uh, animation and correct your animation issues. For example, we, we hand it here and we want to fold it around this elbow and some, <clears throat> some issues will be occur. And we want to fix that. We can fix that, uh, as I said before, in a bone, you can here and uh, create a smooth joint for bone pair. I explained it before, you can prefer, refer to previous lesson. <clears throat> but here we have a simple hand in a vector and we want to create a bone for that, group it, as I explained it before, change it to the bone. And then we come here and click and drag a simple, we create a simple, no, for example, from here, create a simple, simple bone. The elbow is there and that's done. You can go animate the, um, add a bone for the finger if you want, but it's nice to us. <clears throat> and then uh, it's doing it uh, automatically, but uh, first uh, increase, decrease the number of the, Oops, select it. The number of the strengths of that and then go to the manipulate. And as you can see, we have a simple bone here. This is issues. This is a pair of issues that we want to, uh, you can uh, fix it with a create a smooth joint for a joint pair, but it does not work uh, correctly since sometimes. We want to create, uh, correct this issue manually. Nice. For doing that, uh, I want to create. I want to use the actions, and we selected the bones folder, and in this folder we can create an action. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, assigned that bone name. Its name is very important. Don't change it because it's disconnected. Before changing the name, you have to change the bone name, and after that, uh, as you can see, we come to action timeline. As I said before. What we can, what we want to do, we want to uh, animate this bone. For example, we want to close the arm. We want to animate it, and in in its animation, we want to correct that layer and store the animation and correction to action. Okay, this is a smart bone. I explained that you understand. It's very important. And <clears throat> easy. First, we are going to manipulate and just click to create first keyframe here come here you can create a, a smooth it's the uh, frame length is not very important just we want to animate it to store the correction it tells okay if you animate your character such as this way you can <clears throat> fix that issues just we want to uh, tell the software the way, the animation, the K-frame is not very important, but this frame is nice for our K-frame. Going to the one, and after that, so the action is selected, go to layer. And the layer tells you, okay, this is the animation of that bone, and this is me. This is the point. I give you the points, okay. In this animation that you store in action, please correct my point and uh, begin with the correction. Okay, let's select it. Just select the layer once to set first keyframe coming here. Hmm, I like it. Select again. Hmm, I don't want to change it. Hmm, the issues occur here. Select somewhere, deselect everything to correct the points. For example, I want to correct this point. Be careful about the handles. Mm -hmm. I correcting the issues manually. Then it's automatically keyframe. As you can see, it's correct the issues. Come here. Mm -hmm. I want to create, a, for example, the changes here. Yeah. As you can see, with that animation, we correct some issues. Correct these issues also. And mm -hmm, that's nice. Again, select it. Correct that issue. And done. And now, as you can see, I create an animation for our bone. 
and then we correct the corresponding points and deformation for our arm and they're all they're all stored in action and everything is done select the main double click to main uh line and as you can see we don't have any animation because we store that animation to action and to do the bone it's automatically it's automatically defined the a smart bone and what happened if you come to the bone and manipulate it as you can see it's automatically store that animation in a layers it tells you okay if you animate that bone this is a smart bone if you animate uh, go to the zero but careful if you animate the bone in that way that you store in an action i will change the deformation of the layer the action is stored this animation and the changes and the correction of the point in it this is on a smart bone it's, it's it's automatically defined that animation and as you can see we don't have any animation just and after that you can uh, animate your character and you can do this such a this idea to uh, lots of work in character correction <laughs> nice as you can see again this animation of bone and the correction of the points are stored in action and just is stored there and you don't need to call recall it in here uh, or doing something else and you can animation your arm in any time in anywhere in your main time line and after that if you want to uh, bring it you can double click and again you can access to all of the animations that you want so this animation this is not animation this is a correction this is correction store okay i hope that you understand it's very easy hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release